Hi guys, I'm Mochi and we're on my creative world again because today we're going to talk about banners. Now, banners can add a lot to a build and since the introduction of the loom, they're a lot easier to make than they used to be. So I'm going to show you some simple banners that can really be nice for decorating and detailing and I'm going to show you some more complicated banners too, but they're all going to be survival friendly. Okay, let's start with some very simple banners that can be pretty handy for like a bathroom. So, if you take a white banner and a gray dye and you just use the gradient like this, where you're darker at the bottom and going up to lighter. Grab a white dye and just put a little border around it. And you have a really simple little mirror that works very well in a bathroom. So if you put it over a sink and it's lit from above, it looks like a pretty decent mirror. Now if you do that same thing, And you put either one bar through here, so you have a window that's two sections, or you use the cross and you get a window that's four sections. Well, here, I'll go ahead and grab the two-section one to show you. You can have a good, easy, frosted glass window for your bathroom. And if you like it a little lighter, you can also use the light gray instead of the dark gray. And that's the, uh, the cross into four separate windows. You can also do this with a light gray if you want it to be a little brighter But it still ends up having that frosted look, so you can add a window where you don't want to put glass. Okay, so next I want to show you a computer monitor. Now you can do one really simply. Again, you might want the gradient. Now that is a really simple banner that works really well for a monitor if you want the monitor to be blank. Like, nothing's on your monitor. <laughs> but you could also do this. We take the white banner and then black dye. Okay, and that's all we can do with that one. <laughs> and then you have a monitor that has stuff on it. So it looks like there's, you know, writing or images or something going on. And you may be thinking that doesn't look very much like a monitor. But if you put it through a table like this, you won't see the bottom half of it. And here we have 
a flat monitor. Now, if you wanted to be like more of an old school monitor, you'd have to put a block behind it. This is more like a flat screen or a laptop. Okay, and next I'm going to show you how to make a chain banner. Now, I know there's chains in the game right now, so you don't necessarily need something like this, but I still think it's really useful if you want to have um, some chains in the background as well. So you just do the um, the mason, the black mason there, and then, no, it's a black field mason. And the black um, pally. And then the black Where is it? Uh, there it is. Black pale looks like it's called nowadays. Okay. And there you have a little chain banner. And I've used it over here. So you can see what I'm talking about here. We've got uh, chains in the front. We've got these little shelves that they're pulling up and around. And I put the chain banners in the background. And another really simple detail is curtains. So if you take a banner and you take one a dye that is slightly darker, and you put those in stripes, that's going to look like the folds in the curtain. And then if you take uh, whatever color you want for your accent color, and you do one across, and then you do the little chief indented here. Yeah, that gives you like a valence kind of look. Or valance, I'm not sure how you say that one. Now you can do that in different colors, of course. The, the, the thing that seems to make it work best is to make sure that whatever color you use for your, um, your stripes is a little bit darker than your base color. Okay, so this can be a really fun one, especially if you like to build like statues or faces or things like that. Uh, those of you who watch some of my other videos may recognize this one. And just like that, you've made a simple mouth full of teeth. And we used that over here on this cat, although I think we used magenta instead of pink that time. Okay, in this next one, you take a black banner to start with. And then use yellow for your stripes. And then a light blue. And another light blue. And then we need this one. So that's going to make it more round. Then we take the white. And we go for that one. And then we need another light blue, like that, and there you go. So this one is our bee banner. Now that's great for decoration on the walls and things like that, or you can use it on your shield, of course. You can also use it around like your beehives and your bee nests and all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start this one with a gray banner. And then we add light blue. And the light blue pale Dexter here. And then we need a lime green. Then we need black.
and a gray. And then one more lime green. And we've made a zombie banner. Now that's great for putting on your wall as decorations, like a poster, or you could just put it on your, you know, if you have a zombie spawner, which you've turned into like an XP grinder, you can put it on there. Okay, and next up, we're going to start with a black banner. And then we need orange. The uh, orange fess here. And then we want a red. And a roundel. And we need black. And red again. And then we want a light blue. And a black. And that is a parrot. <laughs> okay, so starting with the green banner, we're then going to use some black dye. And some red. And white. And green again. And this one's kind of silly, but we made ourselves a zombie bunny. <laughs> okay, and this one I think is kind of pretty. We're going to start with the blue. And then we need a lime. And then we're going to take a green. And now we need one of the oranges. Oh, I need a skull charge. I don't have one. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to need to use the skull charge for this one. And we also need an orange dye. Okay, and this is a goldfish in kelp, which I think looks pretty in a fishing area or in a, an aquatic themed room. Okay, and for the next one we want a black banner, and then we need to get the lime dye. And lime again. And then we need black. And black. And one more black. And I think that makes a cool poster on a wall. If you put them together, you can end up with a stripe. I'm going to make it just an accent on your wall. For our last one, we're going to start with a white banner. And 
add our light blue. Then we need a flower charge. We're going to do that with brown. Then we want some cyan. And pink. And white. And now we've got a little picture that can hang on your wall. As a little photo. Okay, and if we do that same thing again, right up to the point that we put, right before we put the um, pink rondelle on, you can use whatever color you want here. And you give the picture a little more detail. So they could have ribbons or bows or whatever. So banners can be a lot of fun. And they can add a lot of cool detail to your builds. There's lots and lots of uses. And with the loom, they're a lot easier to make than they used to be. So you really just got to play around with them. Most important thing is getting the layers in the right order, which takes a bit of practice. And if you plan it out ahead, it's a lot easier to think about how things are going to layer up. There's also a new banner pattern in the game now with 1.16, which is called Snout, and is the little rectangle you see in the middle with the two little rectangles. Um, I haven't played with it very much yet. I just really made this little robot guy and a little tractor thing, and i um, still working with that one. <laughs> Well, guys, I think that's going to be all for today. I hope you guys had fun. I know I did. And I'll see you next time. Bye.